Okay, welcome. This is the 2 to 1 scale first order transport, something we've not built since, I want to say 2017 or 2018. So a fair while. We don't do first order stuff very often um, for, I guess, obvious reasons. Um, although the first order stuff, to be fair, performed pretty well, particularly the ATM6, which is still over there. That's the original model from uh, 20, again, 2017, I think, or 2018. Um, the big, like, four hour long tutorial. Yes, this one is a very nice remake, it completed a couple of weeks ago, um, and I've just put some final touches on it, like, just now, about 20 seconds ago, so that's interesting. Um, yeah, big big difference in in the scale of things, it's a lot kind of rounder, um, and particularly around this back area here, it tapers pretty far in, um, to almost a point near, near here at the back. Um, there is an interior this time, I think the previous model was closed up, or was just empty, this one, there is interior space there isn't much in here but there is the space and, and it is kitted out so you can put things in here and um, obviously it's not player scale it's, it's double scale so yeah, practicality wise I mean you can still use it it's perfectly usable and I, I'm sure no one would buy an eyelid if you put it on a, uh, a Star Wars world I wouldn't think it was oversized but um, yeah no it's nice and um, just improvements across the board really like things like the uh, the driver compartment here, which admittedly is, is a bit of a weird thing um, to begin with. The way it sticks up like this, it's so exposed and it's so thin as well. Um, the gunner compartment, again, just improvements uh, across the board, really. Um, and then the engines, very, very difficult to pull off. Um, there's a couple of ways you can do this, and in, in my case, I suppose I've used warped trapdoors and stairs here on the engine bits um, where the actual... Um, lights would be um, in lieu of actual lights at least on this top one on the bottom one there is room but just because of the way that the engines are shaped and trying to get them to fit in at this like weird I guess it's maybe like a 30 degree angle what they're at kind of up there and up that way it was just really hard to pull this off and um, I'm sure you could probably simplify it and just put one of these up here but it just wouldn't look right to be fair so yeah, um, anyway, let's let's crack on with the build. Um, I guess we'll do it layer by layer, just because that's the easiest way. Um, and yeah, on to layer one. Right, so for layer number one, we'll need sponge, our temporary block, basically. So, uh, yeah. yeah, I mean, you can use whatever you want. I just use sponge, because it's ugly, so I need to get rid of it. Stone slab, polish on the site slab, stone cutter, with the skeleton skull and grey banner. I'm going to do some marking out with the temporary block, um, which will basically put the feet down and then the uh, bottom of the landing ramp as well which you can remove by the way um, if you want to have the build with with a closed door you can just take off the ramp and fill it in with the like the corresponding blocks um, to fill in that hole start off um, I guess I guess we could start for the back of the build actually we're gonna do um, and red line is the back of the build by the way green line is the front um, so just remember that while we're building um, and then I'm going to use the red line as the center line of the build. So obviously you've got your left and, re and your right as well um, on either side of the line. I'm going to do three across like that. One <coughs> at a corner like that in there as well. So you've got three gap there like that. Then do a stone cutter. You want it facing uh, with the actual blade kind of facing that way. Um, and then same again. <laughs> if I can do it on the right block. There we go. Just like that. Um, with the skeleton skull left and right left and right and if you're in survival by the way you'll need to choose an alternate block for the Willis skeleton skull I think so um, I'm not sure what would work but uh, I don't know normal skeleton skull but even that those are rare as well as well um, so it's up to you but you can just leave them off I guess or just use banners on that side as well with the sponge now, coming to these uh, kind of diagonal ones from the center, do an extra one, and again, but we're going to leave a gap of one in between, so just keep doing that until we get five separate ones. So you've got one, two, three, four, this is the fifth, and there we go, that's the fifth one. And then there's a set of three, like that, again separated by one, and then once again separating by one, one there. Okay, so remember, should have one here next to that diagonal. Two, three, four, five, all separated by one. Another gap, three, separation, one. And then again, we're going to do uh, 
separate ones, so two, so that's one, single one, two, three, four, five, six, two, three, four, five, six. And then taking the stone slabs, that's gonna to be top half, five, and then bottom half, five polished andesite slabs. Okay, come back to this set of three, and we are gonna go out by one and do another grindstone, not grindstone, sorry, stone cutter there, separated by one from the middle, and again, like that. And it should be one block outwards from where the back foot is. I'm going to do the same thing with the schools and the banners, or whichever corresponding block you choose. And again, like that. And that's going to be it for lane number one. If you want to have a good view of this from the top, there you go. Let's move on to lane number two. Okay, for lane number two, you'll need smooth stone slab, normal stone slab, polished andesite slab, normal andesite slab, iron trap door, deep site tile wall, and stone brick wall. For the purposes of this build in particular, when I say, and this is for the slabs um, in particular anyway, when I say polished, I'm talking about polished andesite, and when I say uh, andesite, I'm talking about normal andesite. We um, only need polished andesite twice on this layer. Um, so there's not much of it, and, and there's only six blocks, or sorry, six slabs of normal andesite as well. Um, but yeah, if I say this is a polish, this is an andesite, that means this is a polished, and this one is an andesite. <laughs> um, so I guess we'll start off down here um, at the back, add a deep slate tile wall on each of those stone cutters and then a top half smooth stone slab there and there as well. And then a iron trap door going on the outside on each of those, like that. Taking the sponge now, one, 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 one. So just like that. And then this time we're gonna do one, two, and three, right in the middle like that. Okay, do a separation of one and a separation of one again, just like that and then a top half iron trap door. And then these are all top half, by the way. One, two, three, four. That makes five in total on that row. And then going back towards the front here. One, two, three, one, two, three. And then outwards by one on this final block, just like that. You wanna take these stone top half slabs. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And again, seven, seven, and seven. Okay, taking the iron trap door once more, there and there. And then stone slabs, sorry, smooth stone slabs, one and two, one, two, iron trap door there and there. And then a deep slate tile wall in that gap. That should go on top of the stone cutter from the previous layer. Taking the polished andesite slabs, that's one there, here as well. You're gonna do three top half andesite slabs, three there, and I'm pretty sure I called that polished andesite, which I said I was gonna call it polished, but if I, sl if I slip up and just say polished, remember my rule. If I say polished, it's, it's a polished andesite. But on that occasion, uh, I did it myself anyway, it's fine. Stone slab in the middle, and then seven stone slabs in front of that. Smooth stone, slab one, two, one, two, and then seven to join that up. With the iron trap door, that's three, top half, three, top half, those are on the ends as well. And then joining that up towards the middle, just like that. With the temporary blocks once more, do one there, one there and then skip one, and again, like that. And then this is a top half stone slab, five of those, and then five polished andesite ones. And then taking the stone brick wall, one and one. And that's gonna be it for layer two. Um, let's move on to layer three. At some point soon, we should be able to get rid of these temporary blocks. So yeah, onto that. Right, so lay number three. Um, we need just four blocks really for this one. Um, a couple of slabs and stairs, but we'll get those when we need them. 
stone, andesite, polished andesite, stone bricks, grey concrete, science, terry cottage, stone brick wall, iron bars, and then the temporary block um, once more. I think that's the last time we need it. Um, you can probably get rid of the uh, temporary blocks from the first layer as well. Take your grey concrete, we're going to do these, get these out of the way. They're just going to go on top of the deep slate tile walls that we've placed so far. You can get rid of that now. Um, once you've done all four of those and we are just going to grab polished underside stairs and get these out of the way um, Or at least four of them because they are going to go Upside down there facing away from that gray concrete that we just done So that's part of the landing gear mechanism and um, obviously it's it's a completely uh, Visual mechanism rather than actual functional But it's there um, So that's out of the way now. That's nice Taking the andesite, go to the front landing gear, which is here. One, one there next to the grey concrete. And then with stone bricks, we're going to do one, two, three. One, two, three, going towards the front. This is going to be two stone here. One andesite, one stone. And then two cyan terracotta. Okay. So we'll just do that again on the other side, like that. Taking the stone again, two on the inside, two on the inside there. And then with the stone bricks, that's one, two, three, four, five. Um, stone is gonna go just there and there. Three stone bricks in the middle. This is a stone brick block, one and two. One and two. And then if we just uh, grab a stone brick slab, we'll just swap that out for now. The stone brick slab's gonna go there and then and then the polished andesite slab just to finish this ramp off pretty much five like that okay um, and I guess while we're here actually we could put the iron bar just there and there as well get that out of the way okay um, put a polished andesite there just there facing that way and we're gonna do another one so you've got the set of uh, three stone bricks here on the middle one, facing that way. And again, just like uh, that. Okay. Stone bricks once more. Uh, there and there. There and there. And then stone brick wall in the middle. Iron bars on either side. Just like that. Taking the stone blocks one and two. One and two. Polished underside stairs. Two like that. And two again. Coming back to the polished underside stairs. And we're going to take the stone bricks, do two of those. One stone, one underside in the middle. One stone again, two stone bricks. This time it's stone, one underside, and one stone stone bricks and then just repeating that again so stone and site stone we're going to do a stone bricks just there and there it's going to be and site stone and site stone and site and then this time it's stone next to those stone bricks two and site either side and a stone bricks in the middle and going in once more again that's and site there and there as well um, and then three stone blocks in the middle and then stone bricks one two three stone in the middle taking the stone once more that's one two three four and five one two three four five three to join up there and then I can't tell if there's uh, meant to be something on the previous layer that I've missed off or not but there is actually a, a gap here which I'm going to have to check, because if there's a gap on the actual model, I'm going to be very embarrassed, and we'll have to do something to fix that. Um, I am just going to check that one second. Yeah, I guess I'm not very good at undersides. There is an actual gap on the model here, so we're just going to put uh, three stone in, in there and fill that in, really. And um, That's very embarrassing. Uh, not sure how that slipped past quality control, but there we go. Um, that's fine, anyway. Cool. Uh, taking the stone bricks one and two, one and two. And then, I guess with the iron bars, one and one. 
And the last thing we'll do on this back section here for this layer is just taking the polished deep slate slabs this time. And top half, we want to do them next to those iron bars we just placed. Just like that. Okay. Alright, taking the iron bars once more, coming to here, we're going to do two iron bars and then a stone brick wall. And again, working on that taper now, as you can see, going there towards the back, which I mentioned. Um, and then taking grindstones, now we're going to have to kind of jump up to the next layer a minute here, and we're going to take the temporary block once more as well. If you come to where these three are, basically, it's the iron bar, the stone brick wall, and then the stone block. Put the three temporary blocks there, and then we're going to do some diagonal upwards like that. Again, one, two, three, diagonal upwards, three like that. And then just do a grindstone there and there. Here and here as well. And you can get rid of those three, those three, and then just put these away for now. Um, I guess the last thing really is to take the stone stairs. I'm going to do one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four of those as well. And now we have to fill this in. Um, so there's a lot of filling in here to do, and uh, most of it's stone. I'm going to mark out where it stops being stone, which is just there. So this goes across, joins up, and then this area here is all stone, um, because it all gets covered up. So there we go. Fill in all this in. And we're almost in there we go. Then this final section here is just um, a few miscellaneous blocks again. So I've got an andesite there and there. Um, and then two andesite, two andesite. This block in the middle is a stone. Bring another stone forwards. Bring that andesite down. That andesite down. Stone bricks, stone bricks. Andesite in the middle. And then three, uh, three stone blocks to fill in that gap. Okay. And that finishes off this layer. Um, so let's move on up to layer number four, which is progressing quite nicely. Right, again, I guess we'll start up at the front here. I've just left the same materials, really, and we'll just grab what we need as, as we need it. Um, iron bars goes there and there as well. And then we need a top half stone brick slab on the left and right of that. And then two stone brick blocks. And then an andesite block and a stone brick block again. Okay, taking these stone stairs, we're going to do one. Um, in fact, I need to count this first. Uh, I think it's six. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Um, a polished andesite block goes there and there. A stone block goes there. And we'll do this on the other side real quick. So two, three, four, five, six. Stone block, andesite block. Polished, sorry. Polished there as well. And then again, one, two, three, four, five, six. This is part of the interior, by the way. Stone block, stone block, polished there and there. And then this is stone brick walls times three. And also grey concrete, which I've thrown away for some reason. I, I guess I thought I didn't need it again, but here we are. Um, so three of those here. Um, and I believe there's some on the next layer as well, but I'm not going to place them just in case um, they're not. Right, so there's a lot of uh, fun blocks on the outside here, so I guess we'll start off with those. We need the stone brick wall, we also need the andesite wall as well. Um, so start with the stone brick wall just there, there as well, and then two andesite walls. And while we're at it, we also need a great stained glass pane actually so that goes there and there I've started using glass panes in places where iron bars would just look a bit too messy which in this case is, is here um, andesite just to join those andesite walls up to the body stone bricks one two three upside down stone stairs stone bricks one and two upside down stone stairs and then two stone bricks again. Stone, andesite, two stone. And then we'll just do this on the other side so we don't get too far behind. And there we go. One, two, three, one there. Uh, oops, no, the other way. 
three there. There we go. Um, come to here, do another stone bricks times two. This is a stone stair there and there. And we also need a rail. And that's going to go just there, slope it, slope it, like that. And then delete that middle one, and the other two should remain sloped. Um, if, Because I don't play Bedrock Edition. Um, if the rails, for whatever reason, go back down to the ground or whatever, just use stairs here. So stairs facing that way. Uh, well, not that way, actually. Uh, that way. It would look very similar. I just wanted a more... Um, it's hard to explain. But I like the slope starting from there, not there. That's that's as much as I'll elaborate. <laughs> Iron trap door, you want to take this and put that just there. And then with the smooth stone slab, that's one. And again, like that. And then you want the smooth stone full block. And we are going to do one, two, and three of those. And again, three. Um, and you can just put those away for now, both of them. I want the stone brick wall uh, back now, which is going to go just there. And the underside is going to go here. And the stone brick wall again like that. Right, taking the, uh, the stone bricks now. That's one, two, three, four. And the site block there. Come back to here. That's andesite, stone bricks, stone block, stone brick wall here. And then another stone block just there. And then one, two, three with the stone blocks. And we're just going to leave that there for now, I guess. Actually, put one more stone block here, andesite, stone block, and then do the circle like that with stone. Replace those two with stone bricks and that one, andesite. Stone brick wall in the middle. And the side there. Stone brick wall on either side. Um, and that's that's pretty much everything copied over. Right? Oh, actually, these these bits. Um, stone bricks, one, two, three. And the side there. And that's fine. Taking the cyan terracotta. You want to take that and put uh, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. And um, we'll do the engines, get these out of the way. I guess just put a couple of materials up there. Grab the sea lantern, grab the dark oak trap door, light blue stained glass pane. We'll do these now, get these out of the way. So that's sea lantern there, the light blue stained glass pane. Those two like that, throw those away. Um, grab the dark oak trap doors, and that's going to be one, two, three and two on this side and flip them down. So like that. Okay. Grabbing the polished underside stairs, one and two. One, two. And the side in the middle. And you can delete these temporary blocks from down here now. There we go. Um, oh, actually stone in the middle of those, sorry. Stone there and there. To the left of the stone brick wall here, there's an andesite block, and then a polished block, and then a stone brick wall, and then a stone brick block, and then we want a birch trap door. Put that there, flip it down, and again just do the same on this side. So andesite, polished, and then stone brick, the stone brick wall, and then the birch trap door. Okay, um, and that's pretty much it for this back bit, I think, actually. Um, all right, uh, there's some bits on the inside here. We need the deep slate, uh, polished deep slate stairs, sorry. And that's going to be four of those, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Those are upside down. Stone block there, there. Three in the middle. Stone brick wall here and here. And then another birch fence gate. Just like that. And yeah, I think that's everything uh, for this one. So it's looking <laughs> alright. A bit flat at the minute, but yeah, um, looking fine. 
So let's move on to the next layer up. Right, so starting this one, um, I've got light grey and grey stained glass panes. We'll get these out of the way. Um, main reason, actually, come back down to the uh, third layer here. Just do two of those grey stained glass panes. Um, they were very uh, blended in with the rest of the um, image from which I copied the build. And I, 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 I'm not saying I plagiarized the build, by the way. I, I made the build, but then I have to break it down layer by layer. If you don't understand what I mean, go check out my previous video where I show off the tutorial world and you'll get what I mean um, so yeah those are there and then I guess we'll come to here take the iron bars once more use this as a, as a reference point I guess two of those and then stone bricks one two one two and then there's going to be another one of those uh, stone brick slabs like that and there take the andesite and there's one of those two more stone bricks this is andesite here and here and then polished there and there with the grey stained glass pane there's going to be two of those on the stone brick blocks and then a light grey one there and here as well with the andesite wall that's three three again and then we are going to go down to here taking the cyan terracotta and we're just going to do um, I'm trying to work out how many this is uh, in fact no I don't need to, just uh, place them place them there and come all the way across and bring it to uh, to just there for now, same again over here like that, and do the stone brick walls again, the grey concrete again, this is a polished block on either side stone bricks there, stone bricks there and then we need observers, so just another material to add to the growing pile. Three of those like that, and three again. Two andesite, one stone, one stone there. You should have this like little lip here that sticks out. That's fine, leave that for now. Uh, with stone, surround that stone brick wall again, and we're going to put that in there. Three more stone here. Um, there's a andesite and a stone there, just to bring that layer up. Um, with the stone block, one, two, three, four, and five. Do three across the middle here, and then three cyan. Two cyan there, two there as well. And then with the stone bricks, uh, sorry, smooth stone slabs. Two, two, and then an iron trap door just to finish that bit off. Um, just there and there. Okay. Stone brick wall again on either side. And then this block here is a, I want to say blast furnace. So again, another, another new material. And that goes there with the side texture um, facing outwards. So just like that. Okay, um, taking the light grey carpet now. There's one there and one there. Coming to the inside here, stone block, stone block, polished, polished. Um, and then finally, last thing is the engines really. So taking our stone brick walls once more. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. And then with the uh, polished deep slate stairs, which I'm pretty sure we used at some point, but I, I don't see them. Um, yeah, we need those, so. So yeah, just uh, grab those. One, two, um, one and two. And then with the cyan, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And then we need the polished deeps, uh, yeah, polished deep slate walls this time. So different from the deep slate tile walls, remember that. And there's going to be three of those here. Three of those there as well. And also a warped trap door. Yeah, another material to add to the list. And that's the bottom engine pretty much done. 
or set of engines, sorry. Um, which is cool. So we can move on up to the next layer now because I think that is uh, that is everything done. So yeah, let's let's do that. Okay, I've actually gotten rid of the grey stained glass paint because I don't believe we need it anymore. Um, and we'll need the space for other materials. We're going to grab a warped sign because there is a bit on this build that I can't see on my reference image, but I know it's there. But if I put the warp sign here, it will make me remember that it's there and to do it. Trust me, you'll you'll see in a minute. Um, I guess start off over here and we'll do the three grey concrete and the three walls again. That's our starting point. Polished on either side. Do a stone block there and there. And then two stone bricks on the left of it towards the back. Circle this with stone again, except on this corner there's going to be an andesite. Like that. Stone brick wall in the middle. One and two. And then three more observers. Like that. And you can probably get rid of that for now, I think. I don't think we need it again, but I might be wrong. Um, andesite, one and two. One and two. This is two stone bricks, one andesite, two stone bricks again, and then once more stone polished, stone polished, to here, two cyan, one stone brick, one cyan, this is stone then andesite. And then andesite walls, one, two, three, one, two, three. Light gray stained glass pane, three of those. I'm doing these before the block so you can see them a bit better. This is a stone block here, here as well. And then you wanna put a warped sign on the front of that stone block. And that's what I was uh, making sure to remember. You can throw away that warped sign now. Just grab the iron bars and put that there. And there, those are the uh, little search lights on the front of the first order transport. So that's what those are. This is a andesite block just here, there as well, and then a polished, polished again. And you need the stone slab. One, two, three. Stone brick, and then two andesite blocks. A stone brick block stone block and then an andesite block and then this is finally a polished andesite stair upside down on both sides okay mostly done for this layer um, just the back section now grab the um, grab the smooth stone slabs three of those and a top half iron trap door just there Stone brick wall one and two, and then a stone bricks block in the middle. We'll just do this on the other side as well. So just like that. This is two top half smooth stone slabs, and then a top half iron trap door. If you see that up there, that's the uh, ATTE two to one. So. Funny story, actually. Um, I did this tutorial because I didn't think I'd have time to finish the rest of the ATT. But with the actual size of this that was a lot bigger than I realized, I might as well have done the ATT because this is going to take probably just about as long as the rest of that. It may, maybe a little less, but I could have uh, could have pushed it. Five stone blocks again. And then this is cyan this time. You want to do three there. And also with the deep slate tile stairs, there's going to be one, two, three. Do another stair facing that way. Another stair facing that way. Those are just normal ones and upside down. We need a warped stair. One and two. And then deep slate, oh sorry, polished deep slate stairs again. Um, one, two, three. And three again, these are upside down like that. Polished deep slate slabs, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. 
Um, and I'm just double checking if there's any other things. Ah, uh, cyan, one, two, three, four. And again, cyan, four of those. Um, so I believe that's everything. Um, I'm just making sure everything's copied over. Yeah, I think that's fine. So let's move on um, again to the next one, which I, I completely forgotten the lay numbers. Uh, two, three, four, five, six. Is it layer seven already? One, two, three, four, five, six. I mean, yeah, maybe layer seven, I guess. <laughs> let's, uh, let's, let's do that. All right, in this layer, we are completing the roof um, and these little side bits as well. Put a stone brick block there and there. And then we want to take our uh, polished on the side stairs. That's one and two. And then if I think about it, to be honest, if that's a stair there, this should also be a stair. So we're going to replace that one with a stair down here, which uh, looks looks better. Um, and then we're going to do the same trap door as last time as well. So that kind of goes, uh, do it that way this time. And same there. This is a andesite block um, there and there. And then a stone brick wall on both of those. Stone brick wall there. And here, and again, and stone brick block in the middle. Um, we'll do the engines first, actually, get these out of the way. Taking the dark oak trap door, there's going to be uh, three of these, so one, two, three, like that. And again, three. Um, cyan, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Dark oak trap doors. Four of those and flip them and that's on the outside and again and then a crimson trap door is going to go there and there and i think that finishes off the engines you can get rid of the crimson trap doors and the uh, why do i keep saying crimson sorry it's warped i'm not sure why i'm saying crimson any mention of crimson ignore it's warped yeah get rid of the two warp materials now because you don't need them anymore um iron bars we are going to put that just uh, there and there and then two stone brick walls going towards the front um, and the site block there and there and then three stone bricks in the middle and the site one two three four five stone in the middle there three stone and um, stone bricks on the outside stone on the inside and then this is andesite Andesite and andesite, actually. There we go. Cool, that's the uh, back bit done here for now. Um, with the stone blocks, there's going to be uh, one and two like that. Two again, stone bricks in the middle. Um, again, two stone, two stone, one andesite in the middle. Stone there, stone there, three andesite in the middle. And then also put an andesite on the outside there and there as well. This is a stone brick wall, stone brick wall, iron bars, iron bars there as well. And we're going to put a stone block here, andesite there. And then taking the material, I can never say, and I'm going to force myself, chiseled stone bricks. There we go. I always stutter on that one. There we go. That's That's that. Polished andesite stairs, one, two, and three, just above those uh, observers. And again, three like that. Two stone brick blocks on either side. Stone block there and there. And then there's just a load of area to fill in here um, with various materials. So I guess start by taking the stone and just bring that across to the first of those stone brick blocks. And in fact, you can take a polished andesite and just go across like this on that second stone brick block. Again with the stone like that. Um, oh, in fact, no actually. That one's andesite, skip one, that one's andesite. Uh, there we go. And then this is a row of stone across. So you should be left with a four by three gap now. That's three stone here. Stone on the left and right, stone bricks in the middle three stone here, stone bricks on the left and right, and stone in the middle this time. 
Okay. <laughs> Always the uh, fun part is the filling in, obviously. Three smooth stone blocks like that. Uh, stone brick block here and there as well. Stone block on either side. Two more smooth stone. This is a cyan there and there. Stone brick and then a stone block. Okay. Come to the middle of the set of three smooth stone and we're going to do polished andesite all the way across. And then fill in this gap with stone. This is a line of stone across as well. A stone there, stone there, and then join this up with polished andesite. So five in the middle like that. This is going to be a row of stone across um, up to there like that. And then same again. Take your polished, go to here and here, and then bring this all the way across to there. And again, we want to fill the middle in with stone. And then this is four, four with the stone blocks, and then two cyan, two cyan. Continuing with the cyan, that's one, two, three, one, two, three. Join it in the middle, add two more stone blocks there. If you want a top view of that, so you can just see again, there you go. One and two stone, one and two again. This is a andesite block on either side, and then three in the middle, like that. Stone block there and there. And then stone bricks three, one and one. Come to here on the outside, stone, stone bricks, stone, andesite. And then one more new material here is a light gray banner. And we're just using that kind of to sort of help those slopes move down onto the, um, the walls. It's not perfect, but it's something. I did use levers originally, I think, but they just didn't look very nice. Um, but we do use a few levers on the top. Um, so put that there for now. Um, I guess grab the stone and the polished andesite stairs. Polished, stone, stone, polished. Just like that. Um, andesite, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One there, one there. And also one more andesite in the middle. And then one, one, two, three with the stone. Finally, polished andesite stairs, one, two, three, four, five. All upside down. Um, grab the smooth stone slab. That's one, two, three, four, five. And again, one, two, three, four, five. And I'm pretty sure that does it for this layer, um, which is good. So you've got your interior space here, like I said, which is uh, which is good. So yeah, um, we'll move on to the kind of top covering layer now, and that's also going to be the inclusion of the bridge and the uh, gunner seat as well. So I guess let's move on to that and we'll be done. So on to the next one. All right, so start off here at the back. Uh, take a heavy weighted pressure plate. Um, I'm going to put that on the chiseled stone bricks. One and two. Oops, there we go. Grab the iron trap door now. One, two, three. And then to the right, one, two, three. So we're working on the left-hand side of the build um, for this little bit. When we get to the front, we'll be uh, doing the symmetry again, but I wanted to get the asymmetrical bits out of the way. Take the polished on site stairs, that's going to be one, two, three there, leaving a gap between this trap door and the three here. Do two, two, and then three around the back there. Stone blocks, one and two, one and two, one and two, one and two, and again, one and two, with iron trap doors on top. I want to take the uh, light gray carpet and do three of those here, and three again. Taking the polished andesite, that's going to be uh, one, two, three, two there, two there, two stone in the middle, and then three on the right. Well, not, well, yeah, on the right, yeah, <laughs> like that. 
and taking the smooth stone slab now one two three four and then the bit in front is going to be uh, symmetrical we are going to do just one more thing and um, grabbing the uh, polished and site slab I'm going to do a row of those all the way across that should be uh, seven of those in total and then we are going to take a lever and there's going to be one uh, and flip it and then one there flip it okay grab the uh, chiseled stone bricks again we're going to put that just there where that stone was I apologize I should have done that in the first place um, grab a rail and we're going to surround the block we just placed and then delete the um, edge ones take a light grey carpet and put those in place again if you're on bedrock I don't know what the rules are with rails if you break the middle ones do they change automatically I don't know on Java at least my version of it they stay like this um, but if, if they do change just leave the rails as they were um, instead of replacing them with carpets we want the polished deep slate wall just one of those and then a upside down stair is going to go there we want the dark oak trap doors we can also get rid of the stone bricks as well the chiseled stone bricks one dark oak uh, fence gate did I say fence gate or trap door? it's a fence gate anyway and then the dark oak sign on the outside of that and that one as well um, and that's fine so that's the, the turret finished now um, coming over to here take the stone brick walls and the andesite walls there's going to be two stone bricks and then two up and then andesite wall one two three four one two three four iron bars there and there and then light grey um, glass pane we need one two three four of those a lever goes there and then this is three black stained glass panes to uh, represent their cockpit sadly there's nowhere for the pilot to actually sit there just is not room in there without doing some really weird tricks and it just wouldn't make it look very good um so yeah Okay, so grab a iron bar and then a birch fence gate. Oh, trap door, sorry. I, I don't know why I get them mixed up. Um, get rid of the stone cut. I don't know why I got all this stuff. Get rid of the stone cut as the blast furnace. Uh, you can even get rid of the rails. Just give us some room. Black stained glass, get rid of that. Um, yeah, so you got the, the trap door. We've placed that and then the banner. We need that now. Um, do the light grey carpets. One, two, three, four. And then this is going to be an iron trap door just there as well. All right, so that's the back section done. That's all the asymmetry done as well, which is nice. Um, we just need to finish off the front here. Um, so grab the polished underside stairs next to this polished underside slab. Do one on either side. And then smooth stone, one, two, and three. Three again. And then polished underside stairs facing forwards. You want the polished andesite slab. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And again, seven there. Iron trap doors. One, two, three. One, two, three. And then light grey carpets. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Five, and five again. Okay. Take the levers once more and then you can get rid of them after this. So there's going to be one just there next to that final slab. And then one on each side of the smooth stone facing downwards like that. You can get rid of that now. You want these stone stairs, three of those, three of those here. And again, you can get rid of that now. You want the light grey carpet. That's going to be one, two, three. Three again on top of those smooth stone blocks once more throw that away I'm gonna to have to pick all these up afterwards which I've just realized which isn't very fun iron trap door birch trap door dark oak trap door you get rid of all this deep slate you can get rid of um, all these blocks these full ones you can get rid of every single full, full block actually from now on 
Um, grindstone, you don't need the deep slate tile wall. Don't need the wither skeleton skull or the light grey banners. We just want to have the stone slabs, the smooth stone slabs, the polished andesite slabs. And... Uh, I don't know, yeah, I don't know why I'm throwing them out there either because uh, I could just delete them off my inventory. <laughs> um, we need cobbled deep slate slab as well. So stone slab one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. In fact, not that one. So one, two, three, four, five, six there. Um, smooth stone slab one, two, three, four. Stone slab one, two, one, two. Taking the cobbled deep slate slab, that's three, one and one. One and one there. You know what, in fact, I did this on the reference model, but I'm going to change this to be the polished deep slate slab. I've changed my mind mid-tutorial. They're pretty much the same. The reason I chose the cobble one, because it was closer to the cyan, but I, I prefer the texture of this, so I'm going to stick with this. This is the polished deep slate slab. Yeah, there you go. I changed my mind mid-tutorial. Four more smooth stone slabs, and then these join in the middle. One smooth stone slab. Normal stone slab on the left and right, and then three polished here. And then in this gap, there's two stone slabs. And that's everything, I think. Um, so I'm going to pick all these up and then just uh, delete them like that. So that's it, yeah. Um, that's the First Order Transport, the remake. Um, looking very, very nice. And like I said, you, you can delete these slabs down here and just basically along the length of this slab here, you would do more slabs across, and then um, this full block here, you would join that across and make a, a row, and that's how you would close it up. And you just use a mixture of stone or polished, probably in lines, to do that. But I'm not going to do it here because it's just meaningless. Not meaningless, but it's not worth the time. <laughs> uh, I am on a, a very tight schedule today, so that I apologize if I went a bit faster than usual, um, but recording time is very, very limited for me. Um, nowadays, which is which is a shame, um, which is why the ATT is taking so long and why I, I can't finish off the 1 to 10 ISD, but I am going to try and make time somehow. I might just have to stay up at like 3 in the morning to uh, to do it. So yeah, let's get uh, get the shaders on, we'll do a post-build showcase and then I can uh, crack on with the editing. So, and I will be releasing some free schematics at some point. <laughs> Sorry about that noise. Um, some point, some point soon, um, just as a kind of sorry for for the, uh, the upload speed, because I do wish it was more often. There you go. Looks uh, looks lovely. Uh, engines look decent enough, I'd say. They're very very tricky to pull off. But yeah, thank you for watching. Um, I'll be back at you soon with with another video. Hopefully the ATT. But yeah, see you in the next one, and stay safe. Good goodbye. Hey everyone, thank you for watching the video. On the screen right now you can see a list of the fantastic Patreon supporters who are helping to support the channel. If you want to check out the Patreon and other social medias of mine, you can find them all in the description. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you again soon.